Yeah. Welcome Rahul in Forum of India's to uh, top founders. Uh, so I have some question I'm going to ask. Uh, in your view, uh, what are the three key ingredients for achieving operational excellence and sustain sustained success in a company? Could you share specific strategies that have proven effective in your sector for scaling up and driving growth within your startup? Thanks for asking the question. Uh, just to give you some background, I run a startup incubator called Math. Math is machine learning, artificial intelligence, technology hub. And we are based out of Hyderabad. We have started from across the country. Now, as you asked, like what helps us to drive the operational excellence and what is the key for our success and uh, strategy and approach? I will say uh, the vision and alignment of the entire organization and the key stakeholders towards that vision. That is one thing that we are educating people that we are constantly communicating with our stakeholders from day one and that is what has uh, helped us uh, to succeed or that is what is working for us in a great way so i will uh, say that is uh, what it is uh, right now so that having a common goal align all the stakeholders towards that goal and executing it to the best possible uh, effort so Rahul, in your role as an entrepreneur, how do you strike a balance between the need of experimentation and risk taking and the pressure to deliver measurable results and meet expectation? See, the thing is that uh, we do take risks because we are also at a very early stage. We need to attract a lot of technology, a lot of startups across uh, the country. Um, but we also have certain targets and uh, you know goals that is defined by government and different stakeholders to us. So keeping a balance is very important, but focus towards innovation and as I earlier mentioned, towards the holistic picture and towards the big picture is uh, what helps us to maintain that balance. Uh, because whenever we are taking any risk, we have to assess that what will be the impact and how it will uh, help us to move forward. And uh, that is the sole uh, mantra that we follow. Talking about the performance, how has been the performance of your company uh, last quarter? What does your company's score card look like? So I'll share some numbers with you. Like uh, we are less than a year old uh, formally and we have 87 plus startups on our premises and uh, they are across uh, coming from across India. We have 963 startups in our ecosystem. So we are probably the largest AI startup ecosystem in the country as we speak. Uh, in terms of uh, other factors, so we are probably the only incubator uh, in the country with uh, maximum number of cloud or compute access and the second is that maximum amount of data access. So we are uh, associated with a lot of public bodies, private bodies, which helps us the largest repository of data, which is extremely important for any AI development. And uh, apart from that, we also have a separate uh, learning management system to educate people on the skilling part of AI and a job portal to help them find the job. So these are the key achievements or the key things that I would like to highlight as a success or as outcome that we have achieved in the last couple of quarters. My last question Rahul, uh, what are those sectors where you see that a startup will surge this year? See, since I come from AI background, I will say AI is definitely one area where most we will see maximum surge uh, irrespective of the industry or sector or domain people will adopt AI. So definitely AI is going to be the top one. Within AI, if I have to say then deep tech uh, will be one area where we see a lot of startups will come up in uh, next one to two years time. Second is that uh, in terms of domain, if I have to say, we will see maximum impact in terms of healthcare and wellness uh, will be the top pick. Second will be environmental uh, startups or agri-tech startups. So these are the top two, three areas where we see the maximum number of startups coming up in uh, coming one to two years time. Thank you so much Rahul for your precious time. Thank you.